It's really interesting what happens inside the mind of a human. When you feel happy, you want to embrace the moment. When you're sad, you try to find a reason to escape the moment. But what if you can't be happy anymore? What if there's no escape from sorrow? I was so happy back then. Everything seemed perfect to me. I did well in school, had friends, and most importantly, I had a family that always made me appreciate life. Seshar, why are you doing your homework? There's enough and more time, mom. Oh really? Isn't it your tomorrow? That's fine. I'll do it later. Okay, okay, I'll do it now. Wait, do you always have to remind me about homework? Sesh, through life or death, I'll always be there. So you'll not forget your homework. Everything can be flipped in the blink of an eye. Hello? Sesh, I can't pick you up. But don't worry, Linda will show up at school. Isn't mom supposed to be in chores or something? Well, she was. The something came up here and I won't be able to make it. Okay, I wait then. Great boy. Good to get back home now. You are too drunk to drive. Let me call your cab. A cab for me? <laughs> the worst that is. This I will get you speedy ticket. Whatever, man. See you later. See you. Hello? Is this a shawl? Uh, yes, who is this? It's about your mom. I'm sorry, but... Life can sometimes be cruel. I lost the closest person in my life that day. An accident by a drunk driver, they said. I know I cried, but more than that, it was anger flowing through my body. Part of me blamed my father for her death. Life began to take a huge turn after that day. It wasn't the same old peaceful house before. My grades went low. I spent less time with friends. And worst of all, 
I had no person to talk to. I wasn't the only person struggling. My father became an alcoholic. He would come home drunk every day. I somehow found a reason to argue with him. Why, you may ask? Because that's how I let go of my anger. Life didn't get any better. I tried finding ways to deal with the pain I was going through and I thought I found a solution. You sure you want to do this? Look man, you might be a bit young for this. Okay, okay. I'm just saying, you know. Get started with this. If you need more stuff, come see me later. I kept abusing drugs. And my father continued with the booze. It was like we were puppets and the devil was pulling the strings. Sadly, none of us seemed to notice the damage it was causing us. We continued to argue with each other and it only got worse each day so much worse that one day are you doing drugs <sighs> sesh i asked you a question <laughs> look who's speaking when was the last time you came home sober I work hard every day so I can provide for you. As long as you live under my roof, you do what I say. If mom was here, I would have been doing much better in my life. You don't care about me like she did. Why are you making this so hard? I do everything for you. No, you don't. You never let me have a say in my life. It's always about you. You don't care about me. You and your ego all along. You show that you are the perfect father to the society that single-handedly raised me well. <laughs> but in reality, you are just a failure. You are just a failure. Sesh, that's enough. It's never easy to raise a child. But <laughs> then you shouldn't have had me in the first place. You are the real reason why my mom is no more. She died because of you! She died because of you! She died because of you! That day was a fool to the fire for my hate towards father. We didn't make much conversation afterwards. Even though he tried to even things out, I ignored him. And my situation with drugs, it just went haywire.
I was disgusted by the idea of life. Why is it worth living if pain and sorrow shadows you like a lion chases its prey? I wanted out of everything. Mom, why am I like this? Uh, I'm just a coward who can't move on with life. No, honey. You're the strongest person that I know. Sometimes life can be so hard. But it's important to focus on the most important things. The things that matter to you. Don't ever let tragedy define your life. But, Mom, I can't do this without you. Sesh, through life or death, I'll always be there, so you'll not forget your own. This whole time, I kept looking at life the wrong way. I failed to embrace the small things that made me happy, and I couldn't have been glad to realize it. Life took a turn again, but this time, for the better. I quit drugs, and father was no more an alcoholic. The adversity of life should not be met with lost hope. Hope is what gives purpose to life. No matter how much pain you've dealt with, there's always sunshine and rainbows ahead. When the world was asleep And that's why life is worth living We can have but can't keep If they say who cares if one more light goes out In the sky of a million stars It flickers Flickers. Who cares when someone's time runs out If a moment is all we are Or quicker, quicker Who cares if one more light goes out Well, I do The reminder 